What's up, YouTube? All right, I have a banger of a card trick for you. Um, so the original idea, I've got to give credit uh, um, where I got this idea from. It's uh, from an effect called Strange Harmony, and that's in Card College Lighter Volume 1. And then um, I felt like there was too much in that effect that was giving away the method, so I thought of another way to hide it. <clears throat> and then I also wanted to add something onto it, and it, it felt like it was too short. It felt like it was too simple, so I, 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 um, I did another effect, Digit Discovery. I added on uh, some of that, and it kind of meshed really well together. And uh, so I'm going to call this one um, Discovery of Harmony. All right, so you show the spectator that all the cards are different, and you would have them cut off a small packet of cards. Let's say they cut off this amount, set them over to the side there. And uh, at this point, you see there's nothing on my hands, but I'm gonna make a small prediction, okay? You would turn around, you would have them count the cards and you would make your, your prediction. And uh, since I uh, don't have a spectator here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play that part too. So this is the packet that they cut off and I'm going to count the cards off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now you tell the spectator, keep that number in your mind, right? Whatever that number is, at this point as the magician, I don't know what number they're thinking of. You say, is it at least a two-digit number? I say, yeah, hopefully it is. If it is a two-digit number, you will proceed with the next part of the trick, which would be add those two digits together. So, you know, we have 15, uh, 1, and 5, 6. So we're going to count out six cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, and then the sixth card, they're gonna take a peek at. They're gonna put everything in the middle of the pile. They're gonna shuffle it all up. Then I'm gonna tell them to take the rest of the cards, put them in the middle of everything, and shuffle them up. So check this out. This is so cool. You can then do a mind reading technique, try to pull that number. So you originally thought of a number was the number you were thinking of 15? Whoa, they get stunned. How in the hell would you know what number? How could you possibly know it? All right, forget about it. I looked at a card. You looked at a card, right? Yes. It was the card you looked at, the five of spades. And by the way, if you wanted to do a prediction, I wrote everything down. 15 five spades so um this is a uh, discovery of harmony and uh let's learn how it's done all right so this trick is almost self-working and the secret is it's a partial stack all right so it's a it's a partial stack with a mathematical principle <clears throat> so when you cut off the small packet of cards, you were shooting for um, in between 10 and 20, 10 and 19 really, where you'd be shooting between 10 and 19. You want them to pick up that amount. That's why you say a small portion of cards, more than likely they're gonna pick up somewhere around there. If not, then the card prediction gets dropped and you're just predicting the number that they're thinking of, which is fine. Uh, so you kind of have that fail safe and then once you realize what number they chose You'll know if you need to proceed with the actual uh, card revelation or not So uh, this partial stack works in a mathematical principle. So um, let's say your spectator cuts off like in our example 15 cards well uh, If you look at the next two cards that from where they cut off there's gonna be an eight and a seven. Eight plus seven is 15, so you automatically know 15. Now the other principle uh, is even more interesting because between um, 
10 and 19, um, you're always going to have, no matter what number, is going to be uh, 1 plus whatever other number. And because they're reversing the cards as they're counting, it's always going to come out to that 5 of spades, no matter what. So I'm going to uh, flash up on the screen right now the stack order. I'll flash a picture of it so you guys can pause the video and get in stack. All right, so now that you're in stack, check it out. Um, as you have them cut off a small portion of cards, secret number two. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys aren't surprised by now, but the cards are marked. That's right, the cards are marked. Um, so as I, uh, let's say they pick up a small portion of cards. Now there's other ways to do it where it's not marked. Um, you could push off two cards and then kind of, as you turn around, look at those two cards and add the uh, values together. I like to just push off slightly, look at my markings, add the two together, and it looks very casual as, as I'm, I'm like uh, turning around, I'm already pushing off a little bit. Okay, count your cards and they're dealing down, they're counting, I've already know the number. Very simple, basic mathematical principle. You add the two numbers together and then the rest is pretty much self-working. Okay, for the card revelation part um, of this trick, um, it works on the fact that the 10th position card is going to be the five of the spades in the stack, the partial stack that we were talking about. Now, it doesn't have to be the five of spades. It can be the five of diamonds, the uh, five of clubs, five of hearts. Uh, it's completely up to you. Um, you can change the stack uh, in terms of the suit if you'd like. Um, I have it the way I have it because I want it to look as random and jumbled up as possible. Um, just in case, you know, when I'm uh, going through the card, something looks a little little weird. You don't want it to be um, kind of like the size step in red, black, red, black, red, black type of thing. You want it to look pretty random. So that's what I was shooting for, uh, just for the tutorial purpose. Let's say they cut off a, a fatter chunk here. Um, and you're going to have them count them off. So deal them down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so how it works, 14, uh, 1 plus, plus uh, 4 equals 5, right? So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's always going to be the 5 of spades, no matter what. They don't know this, which is uh, pretty genius because um, they're already thinking there's no way you can know what number. So if you just if they if you put it in their head that they just looked at a card, they start thinking, "Damn, okay, um, I just looked at a card and and I have this card in my head. There's no way you can know, but you do." Um, so this is the trick. This is the tutorial. Um, I'm hope I'm being clear with the instructions. Uh, hope I am. Um, like I said, you can do it without a mark deck. It's not 100% necessary. Uh, I like it because I perform a lot with Mark Dex anyway. So. All right, so quickly, I wanted to stop the video to bring up uh, two important points um, in this trick. Let's say your spectator did not choose uh, an amount of cards that uh, is between 10 and 19. Let's say they chose a small amount, like nine cards, or they chose 23, 24 cards. In that case, what do you do? Well, you just drop the prediction part of of the card, the card revelation. You drop it completely and you just kind of uh, reveal the amount of cards that they have uh, counted out. And speaking of counting out, it is very important that they count down like this. So you're reversing the order of the cards, right? Um because if you don't do that, and let's say they count them like this, right? Uh, your prediction portion of the trick will not work. It will fail every time. So uh, just have them count, count the cards secretly. Turn around, count down, 
like this uh, onto a table, onto uh, another person's hand, whatever you got available. Uh, just wanted to bring those two things up because I don't think I actually mentioned them. Uh, back to the video. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, sub to the channel, uh, especially if you want to see more hard hitting magic tutorials. Um, I'm definitely not going to be putting BS on here. I'm going to be putting real world worker magic tricks that I perform on a daily basis. Um, this is definitely one of those, uh, that can be a folder for sure. Um, so check it out. Um, let me know what you think. You like it. You don't like it. Let me know in the comments what you want to see coming up. Um, I'm also going to be doing playing card reviews. Um, let me know what you think. Peace, YouTube.